get to wash. You're in first. What you got? Got it. Let's see if you're right. Bad. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. What will you go for? Name a place on their bodies where even adults forget to wash. Good. Oh, yeah. It's worth a shot. Time to find out if it's up there. Hair. Not in this survey. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Play? All right. Let's see how it goes. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Um... I see where you're going with this. Our survey said... That's gonna put a dent in your game. Oops. I'm gonna need your guess. Great yes. answer. Ah, uh, yes. Survey said... Feet. That's a good one. Yes. Name a place on their bodies where even adults forget to wash. Oh, yes. All righty then. Let's see if it's up there. Arm. Oh, no. You struck out again. Got an answer for me? Yes. Yep. Did anyone in the survey say this? And that's three strikes. There's an opportunity to steal here. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Great answer. Said with confidence. Is it up there? Underarm. That's not the one. Yeah. This family have bagged the win. What were the answers that passed us by? What was hiding behind six? Face. Number four, por favor. Hands. What was the third answer? Belly button. What was stuck at the top? Ears. Before we move on, let's take a moment to see the current scores. That's only the first round. Let's keep moving. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. Six answers this time. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We asked 100 people the following. Name something people are afraid to ride on. Fast buzzing. You have an answer? Good night. Okay, then. The survey says 
roller coaster. And you can't do better than that. Top answer. Time to decide, play or pass. The other team has given you a chance to play. I need an answer. Are you sure about that? Let's see if the board's got it. Motorcycle. Nice one. Oh, yeah. It's up to you now. Yeah. Great answer. Got it. Let's see what the survey says. Helicopter. Strike one, two more, and you're out. Uh oh. Name something people are afraid to ride on. Oh. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Survey says lift. That's another strike. You're still alive. What do you think? Here we go, then. Our survey says... Bull. This game is not over yet. Yeah. One more strike, and you're in trouble. Uh... Good answer. Yes. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Ferris wheel. You're still hanging in there. Whoop. Yeah. Get another strike, and the other family will get a chance. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's, right yeah. that's what you're going with? And what did our survey say? Horse. Nice, feuding. You've still got a chance. Yeah. Oh, nice. Only one answer left. Let's go find it. Um, good answer. Yeah. That's good. Is that the final answer? Skateboard. That's three strikes and you're out. This round is getting thrown over to the other side. Now the other family only need to find one answer and they can take this round. Name something people are afraid to ride on. That's oh, good. Yes. We have an answer. Is it up there? Show me. Plane. That's what we were looking for. You're on a roll. Keep this up and you'll be rolling in dough. What are those scores doing? Don't feel so bad about a big fat zero. Look at it this way. If you end up with nothing, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Are you ready for another face-off? One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. There are five answers on the board. Time to take it to the next level with double points. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name a kind of chip. You got in first. That's a good answer. Nice. Let's check the board. Potato. Answer number one. You want to play or do you want to pass and force them to play?
Okay, play passes over. All right, you're up. Oh. Great yes. good answer. Okie dokie. Show me the answer. Chocolate. You've got the right idea. Cool. Oh, nice. All right, let's hear it. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Understood. And our survey says poker. It's nice. up there. Oh, that's a good answer. There's only two answers left up there. Right. Great answer. Answer. Okay, sure. Is that answer up there? Computer. We're nearly there. Yeah. Name a kind of chip. Yeah. Good. Oh, yes. All right. Is it on the board? Bio. <laughs> If it's not on the board, you get a strike. Uh -oh. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Oh. Yes, yeah. that's a great answer. Answer accepted. Do we have it? Corn. And that yeah. board is clear. <laughs> and this round goes to you. Here's how things are shaping up so far. There's a change at the top of the scoreboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Time to go head to head. It's the face off. I want two people to join me over here. It's going to be all eight spaces on the board this time. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We took a survey, 100 people. Name a card game that describes your love life. You're first. What's your answer? Good answer. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Happy families. Uh, no points. Oh. You're up. What you got for me? Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's take a look. Hearts. Perfecto! You can play or pass and force the other family to play. And they keep passing. I'm beginning to think those folks don't enjoy my sparkling personality. Have you got some feud for thought? So... Yeah, that's a great answer. answer. Interesting answer. Did our survey say it? War! Oh, that's nice. Yay! What do you have for us? Maybe. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. Let's run with it. Crazy Eights! It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Oh, no. Name a card game that describes your love life. Yes, that's, that's, what, you that's what you think, huh? I want to see that answer. Love letter. <laughs> Strike two. Okay, people, let's be careful here. You can still do it. Remember, if you don't get this one, the other family has a chance to steal. Good answer. 
Good. Okay. Show me that answer. Old maid. We're still clinging to this game. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Feeling lucky? Is that answer good enough? Cards against humanity. That's three. The other team is in with a chance. It takes just one answer to steal and take home the points. You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance. That's your answer. Let's see it. Go fish. You've cracked it. Yeah! It's a win over here. Are you ready to see the rest of the answers? What came in sixth place? Gin Rummy. Number five was... Poker. Reveal number four. Uno. What was the second highest answer? Solitaire. Let's take a look at the current scores. Four rounds down and we still don't have a winner. Looks like we're gonna need to do one more round. Neither team has surpassed 300 points, so that means we need a decider. Let's fly in the face of danger and play sudden death. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? We're only looking for the top answer. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at finding the answer. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a chance. 100 people, we ask them the following. Name a sport which requires having a good stroke. You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Good answer. Got it. Could it be there? Golf. It's on the board. You've won sudden death. Now you've got a chance to play fast money. Time to say so long to the Lees. It's time to go for the big dough in fast money. We need two people for fast money. Who else is going to play? Okay, Captain, which of this plucky crew do you want to play fast money with? Pick wisely. Let's kick this pig and play the feud. You're up first. You'll get five questions, and you'll give me the most popular answers for them in order to score the biggest amount of points. If you and your buddy can get 200 points or more, you'll take home the big bucks. Let's start the clock. Name an occupation parents brag about their children having. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Tell me something that's supposed to keep you young. Name something a divorced couple literally cannot cut in half. Name something you might buy your father for Father's Day. That's all five.
Now let's see how well your partner does with Fast Money. Going second is a little more difficult. You'll answer the same five questions, but you cannot duplicate any answers we've had. If you do, you'll have to give it another guess. The clock starts now. Name an occupation parents brag about their children having. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Tell me something that's supposed to keep you young. Name something a divorced couple literally cannot cut in half. Name something you might buy your father for Father's Day. That's it! And now you can relax. That was the final question. Let's bring both of our players out here and see how they did. For starters, we asked, name an occupation parents brag about their children having. Here's what you said. These two are looking good. A oh, top yeah. answer. Question two. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. You said... Two impressive answers here. Number one answer. Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, tell me something that's supposed to keep you young. You answered... Here we go. Our survey said... Ow, two zeros. It's a good thing you weren't taking our survey. Wondering about that top answer? Exercise. For question four, name something a divorced couple literally cannot cut in half. Here are your answers. You ought to be happy with those answers. Good yeah, on yeah. you. That was some impressive answering. Let's see the rest of the answers. That jackpot is all yours. $20,000 in your pocket. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. Should we keep playing?